top of the morning everybody uh, I just finished watching Brendan's video on putting his potatoes out so I'm thinking I'm gonna put my potatoes out too but they're in a little different stage of putting out now uh, if you see these are potatoes chitting in a box now I have no idea what chitting is I've never chitted a potato in my life but how do you like that if that's a well-developed chit or not but I think they are look at that I think that potato is just wanting to grow today so we've had a uh, night before last was minus two in the nights but for the next week there's no there's no uh, below zero temperatures and uh, so I think I'm gonna put my potatoes in the ground and of course it'll be a week or so before they come up uh, and we should be in the half decently warm weather now these ones here I'm not putting my main crop of potatoes in for a week or well, a couple of weeks yet probably first of June but uh, these ones here are all going to go into containers so if, it's, if they're up through and it's looking like it's going to turn really cold for a day or two I can put them in the basement it's not it's not going to be that many containers oh I was going to say today is brought to you <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anybody remembers uh, Sesame Street growing up I think it's still on pretty sure it's long running I think Canadian program kids program and today is brought to you by the letter B so mine potatoes are going to be going in barrels bags and boxes so I got a variety of containers that I'm going to grow the these potatoes in this <laughs> the old barrel a uh, quick sidetrack but there's the end off the old barrel you may read that that's Walt's triple X back when Walter was in his 20s and uh, not that that was a huge time ago but uh, it's getting 25 years ago or more now but back when he was in his 20s uh, he used to have a little shiv truck and I made that barrel put a door in it and it was on a little stand all varnished up and everything and it used to be my beer cooler on the back of a I had a little what well, was an S15 GMC truck and uh, we used to pack that full of beer and throw her full of ice for the weekend uh, and if you put in what was it two or three bags of ice it would hold a lot of beer and ice uh, of course the beer never lasted the weekend but the ice usually did and it was a great little cooler I had it all wax lined on the inside and uh, oh back then if you had that barrel full of beer and ice and had the truck uh, going to a music jamboree or something like that for the weekend and the hopes of finding women very seldom we ever did but <laughs> you never shut down the hope uh, we usually had a pretty good time anyway the old barrel's been kicking around I was using it as a garden storage thing for the last five or ten years just storing garden and stuff in it and uh, the last two or three years we haven't used it for anything it's just been getting shuffled about from one thing to another so I thought I'd give it its last its last breath in this world it can grow me some potatoes so what I'm gonna do I have six Cara potatoes and three Charlotte potatoes so I'm gonna put two Cara in the box I'm gonna put two Cara in the barrel I'm gonna put two care in the bag. All I used for a bag, this here was my uh, soil bag, as Dan would say. It was just bog standard. I have no idea what bog standard means, but I like the I like the term. He said it was just bog standard uh, pot and soil, the cheapest you could get. Uh, these yellow bags around here is what we call a no-name brand. So it was a no-name brand pot and soil. 70 liter bag and I folded the bag down over itself so it should give me a 35 liter container so I'm going to plant two care in there two care in the box two in the barrel and I have the three Charlotte left over and I have this big green tub now I cut holes in the bottom of that big green tub and it's a it's a big one so I'm going to put all three of the Charlotte in that big green tub 
tell. We must stick a few potatoes in the ground. A uh, few inches of soil in the bottom. You guys have all seen this a thousand times. A few inches of soil in the bottom. There go the three Charlotte in the bottom of the tub. A little bit of fertilizer in the bottom. I'm going to bury those over. And uh, Brendan, the potatoes are going out. Uh, one last look at those chits. They say we don't chit potatoes. I've never heard of it around here growing up. Uh, but I was just amazed at, I put these in the porch. Brendan started chitting these potatoes. I don't know how long ago, Brendan. Uh, quite a long time ago. And they've just kind of sat there and grew along. There's a great way of keeping them. If you got potatoes that were starting to sprout, but you're six or eight weeks from from uh, planting, put your potatoes out in chitin boxes. Uh, but I think they really want to get in the ground now. So we'll get them in the ground, we'll get some moisture on them, we'll get them growing. Uh, it's a little cloudy in New Ross today, but it's supposed to turn out sunny by oh, mid-morning here. This is only early in the morning, it's about 8 o'clock. Uh, and it's supposed to turn sunny and we're supposed to have the next four or five days beautiful weather so from a, from a cloudy new Ross uh, we're gonna be sunny have a great one everybody